hey guys, a really, really common start question on the exam paper is the number of protons, neutrons, and electrons. So I'm gonna work you through how to work those out with a few examples here. And if you like this video, if you like these examples and want more, then you can pop over and get my book, Math Skills for Chemistry Students, which has loads and loads more in there. When we're working out the number of protons, neutrons and electrons, we need to look at the mass number and we need to look at the atomic number. Now the atomic number is the smaller one of the two and the mass number is the larger one of the two. Now it does not matter where they are located because different examples in different countries will have them located in different positions and it does not matter about the font size. So when I say larger I don't mean bigger typing, I just mean the larger number. So the mass number here is 7 because it's a larger number and the atomic number here is 3 because it is a smaller number. Now protons equal the atomic number in this case is three electrons. Also in an atom equal the atomic number. So in this case, this is three and neutrons is mass minus atomic. So here we have seven minus three, which equals four. Here we have fluorine, the mass number is 19, the atomic number is 9, so protons equal 9 because that's the atomic number. Electrons equal 9 because in an atom it's also the atomic number. And neutrons equal the mass, which is 19, minus the atomic, which is 9, so that makes 10. Carbon, the mass number is 12. The atomic number is 6, so protons equals 6. Electrons equals 6. Neutrons equals 12 minus 6, which equals 6. Here we have xenon. Here is the mass number. Here is the atomic number. So protons equal 54. Electrons equal 54. Neutrons equal 131 minus 54, which equals 77. Arsenic now, here is the mass number, here is the atomic number, so protons equals 33, electrons equal 33 and neutrons equal 75 minus 33 which is 42. If you like this video, if you want to see more examples like this, I strongly suggest you go and get my book, Maths, the Chemistry Bits for Science Students. It's available in book format, video format or it's available over in my classroom.